All right, let's praise us together. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My debt to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. You came you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross my death to pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky lord i lift your name on high lord i lift your name on high Lord, I lift your name on high. Amen. Let's greet one another. Let's say to each other, Jesus is the Christ. Let's all stand up. And let's get more closer into the center. Scoot in, guys. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Good. All right, let's say to each other, Jesus is the Christ. Okay, let's have some responsive. Jesus is. Jesus is. Jesus is. Jesus is. Okay, let's see how smart you guys are. He is. Oh, that's pretty good. Jesus is. He is. He is. Jesus is. He is. You guys tired? Well, let's get let's be strengthened from praise and let's be strengthened from worship. Okay, let's sing the next one together. When I think about the Lord, uh, let's clap our hands. All right, here we go. When, when, when I think about the Lord. How he saved me, how he raised me, how he filled me up with the Holy Ghost, how he healed me to the honor of when I think about the Lord, when they pick me up, turn me around, set my feet on solid ground. And it makes me want to shout, hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory, and all the honor, and all the praise. When 
I think about the Lord, how He saved me, how He raised me, how He filled me up with the Holy Ghost, how He healed me to the uttermost. When I think about the Lord, how He picked me up, turned me around, how He set my feet. Solid ground, and it makes me want to shout, Hey, hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And it makes me, makes me want to shout, Hey, hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Makes me, makes me want to shout, hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise, all the praise. God sent His Son, they called Him Jesus, He came to love, heal and forgive, He lived and died, to buy my pardon, an empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives. Because He lives, I can face tomorrow. Because He lives, all fear is God. Because I know He holds the future. And life is worth the living just because He lives. How sweet to hold, how sweet to hold a newborn baby and feel the pride and joy in him. But greater still, the calm assurance this child can face on certain days because he lives. Because he lives, I can face, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because he, I know he holds the future, and life is worth the living just because he third first. And then one day, and then one day, I'll cross the river, I'll find my spine, no more with me. And then as that gives way to victory, I'll see the lights of glory, and I'll know He lives. Because he lives, I can face, I can face tomorrow. Because, because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future, and life is worth the living just because he lives. All right, let's greet one another one more time. Jesus lives in you. May Jesus strengthen you. May Jesus give you hope. May Jesus give you peace. May Jesus build you up. Amen. Johnny, you look so sharp. I like it. Amen. All right, make some room. 
We're going to sing this next one together. Deep down and making melodies. You guys ready? Which one should go first? Here we go. Dig deep. Let's clap our hands. Deep, 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 oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart, I love my Jesus. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down. Everyone together. First time. Here we go. Deep down in my heart Deep, 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 deep oh, deep down, down Deep All right, listen to your pairs, okay? Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down Deep down in my heart Do you love your G? On the Yagi first, the two of you together I couldn't tell who's who down in my one more time on the yagi. Do you love your Down in my heart together. Okay, deep down in my heart. Do you do you love your Jesus? Toyon and Addie. And deep down in my heart, do you love, do you love your Jesus? Sarang and Lydia across the room. Yes, I love my deep down, oh, we can do much better. Deep, 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 oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart, I love my Jesus. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart. All right, here we go. Do you love your David and Paul? Deep down in your heart. Deep down in my heart. Do you love, do you love your G? Isaiah, Johnny, and Yonu. Deep down in my heart, do you love, do you love your Jesus? My right side, just this side. Deep down in my now the left side, do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your heart. Deep down in my everyone together. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your heart. Deep down in my heart. All right, make some room. Making melodies. Let me hear you guys. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Making melodies in my heart. One more time, making melodies together. Boys. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. David, thumbs up. Oh, you guys were supposed to say, it. David, thumbs up. Oh, thank you, David. Mike and Ike. Where's Mike? And where's Ike? All right, here we go. Making, mel making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. Here we go. King of kings. Thumbs up. Elbows out. Feet apart. Two, oh, one, two, here we go. Making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart. To the king 
I'm King Thumbs Up! Thumbs Up! Thumbs Up! Oh, there's a few thumbs that are still not up. Thumbs Up! Elbows out, feet apart, knees bent, butt out. One, two, one, two, here we go. Making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart, making melody in my heart. Key, last round, here we go. Thumbs up, elbows out. Feet apart, knees bent, butt out, head bent, turn around. All right, tongue out. All right, here we go. A one, a two, here we go, David, here we go. Making melodies in my arm, making melodies in my arm. Making melodies in my heart to the key. One more time, tongue down. All right, let's praise it together. Making melodies. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart to the King of Kings. Amen. All right, you guys can sit down now. Don't worry. All right, let's sing this last one together, okay? You may not be familiar. But I would like for you guys to learn it, okay? Jesus Messiah. All right, he became sin. He became sin. Who knew no sin? That we might become his righteousness. Humbled himself and carried the cross. Love so amazing. Love so amazing. So when he became, he became sin. Who knew no sin that we might become His righteousness? He humbled Himself and carried the cross. Love so amazing, love so amazing. Jesus Messiah, name above all names, blessed Redeemer, Emmanuel, rescue for sinners. Jesus Messiah, Lord of all, His body the bread, His body the bread, His blood the wine, broken and poured out all for love, all the tremble. There was torn, love 
Samame se La Samame se Jesus Messiah Name above all names Bless every demon Keep a sinner The ransom from heaven Jesus Messiah Lord of Close our eyes. And at this time, Benji will come up and pray for us. Uh, dear God, thank you for this wonderful day. As we uh, worship you on this Easter day, let us always hold on to the eternal covenant of the of your blood resurrection and lord may we always have the summit prayer in mind and in everything we do and everything we pray in the name of jesus christ we pray amen amen let's confess together the apostles creed at this time i believe in god the father almighty the creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ god's only son our lord was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, and was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, where will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Sit up straight back off the back of the chairs. Let's do this. What's up, door? Now the trying God is at work, always and forever. Even now God is working by the Spirit and the Word. Even now Christ is getting rid of three curses and accomplishes salvation. Even now as in your eyes, the Holy Spirit is working upon us. Exhale. What's up, sparkle, sparkle? Inhale. Oh, what is rising right now? Our background is heaven. The time you spend in prayer is the time you bring God's kingdom here on earth. To bring God's kingdom means while we're praying invisible to your eyes, God mobilizes his angels for his errands, all the way, even all the way to Mexico. Exhale. She's coming. Start over. Inhale. Hold. You have an amazing authority. Begin to break down the back of hell. Bind Satan. Break down all the forces of darkness. Five great strengths have been made for you. Spiritual power. Intellectual mental power. Physical power. Financial offering power. Man. Social power. Exhale. Blink. What the? 
her, the one picking her nose. Inhale. Ah, start over. The new student messed it up. Right, inhale. Well, there's something more important than all of these on your heart, but your brain will be strengthened. Only then can you become summit to one of your studies. Exhale. <laughs> Heaven is our background. We're going to see the trying God and enjoy God's kingdom here on earth. And we'll go to heaven. Just wait for God's kingdom. It will come. Wherever you go, God's kingdom will come. Exhale. Inhale. Oh, in hell, we don't die and go to hell. But people are living a hellish life on earth, having the background of hell, going to hell when they die. Satan continues to follow them and torments the left. At the end, drags people to hell. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. <coughs> Hold. Angels at the back of heaven, angels are ministering God's work. When you <laughs> they usher us to heaven, where we go, God mobilizes his angels, even all the way to Mexico. Exhale. <laughs> Bond. David Bond. <laughs> Secret agent. Agent 237. Inhale. Hold, spiritual state. What's more important than answers is my spiritual state. There's where everything begins to be solved. I mean, to have a healthy spiritual state that rises full of the covenant is filled with the Holy Spirit always. I mean, to listen to the voice of God, not the words of Emma. Exhale. Baby. Ah, babies. Darn babies. Fine. It's Esther. Inhale. Well, oh, church is the shadow of the throne of heaven and the path to which we get there. People that are must, must meet leaders with the gospel, successful people with the gospel, fellow workers with the gospel. Exhale. Gross. Inhale. Hold. May God's image revive inside of us. May we be filled with the breath of life through your word. May we restore the blessings of the Garden of Eden. Exhale. Ponga atención. Do you know what that means? What? No, it says pay attention. Do you, do you even speak Spanish? Inhale. We have to start over. The tuxedo twins are doing something else. He's still doing something. Okay, inhale. Hold. Evangelism. Help us enjoy the blessing of the throne of heaven, the transcendence of time and space, the light of 27. Exhale. Tuxedo twins. Sparkle and sparkle. Black and white. The K pop twins. And, and the oi oi. Cucumber, cucumber. Oi oi. Calm down, jailer. Inhale. Start over. Inhale. Oh, help us enjoy the unprecedented, never repeating answer. Platform, watchtower, antenna, save myself, feels in the church. Exhale. Inhale. Oh, help us receive heavenly power, talent, mission to save the pastors, church officers, remnants, prepare for the age of specialization, civilization, globalization. Exhale. Exhale. 
Calm down, Carlisle. Some people call him Carlis. Carlis. Because you have an S in your name. Inhale. Start over. Inhale. Oh, TVIP. I will see the covenant, possess the vision, enjoy the dream, conquer through image, fulfill the practice in advance. Exhale. <laughs> like an elephant. Boo. And relax. What's so funny, Carlice? Carlice. Lice. I've never heard of a Korean person having lice. Oh, Sam had lice? Thanks for the information. Church that has peace and is being built up. Let's have a healthy spiritual state. Here's Mike. Where's Ike? Healthy spiritual state that succeeds in worship. Spiritual state that fears the Lord, correctly understand God's word, and obeys God's word. Not my words, God's word. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Spiritual state that's encouraged by the Holy Spirit, not, or not the things of the world, but from above. Trying God and his word. Listen carefully. What is God trying to tell you through this weirdo? 27 courtyard of the Gentiles. We're all Gentiles here, right? Because we're not from the 12 tribes of Israel. Are you from the 12 tribes of Israel? We have actually a, somebody from the tribe of Benjamin. Tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin. But we're all spiritual Israelites, right? We were Gentiles. What's your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? Pablo. Benjamin, Benjamin. 227 courtyard of the Gentiles. Go make disciples of all nations. Help them root down in church. Live Christian walk of faith. Yes. Superstars here. Healing, spiritual healing. International house of prayer. Not pancakes, spiritual healing. And physical healing. And emotional healing and mental healing. And depression healing. And addiction healing. And especially spiritual healing. And Michael hearing? Michael earring. <laughs> Should I get an earring? Nose ring? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Signs and wonders will follow. The Lord who's seated upon the throne is with us. All we have to do is pray in Jesus' name. Summit courtyard of the children. God is our first priority. Let's love God with all of our heart, mind, soul, strength. Faith and skill, just like those remnants. Throughout this year, let's hold on to God's word, which is 393. You guys all remember 393? What's the first three? Trying God. Next three. Three transcendences. Next three. Three life movements. Next three. Three unprecedented. Next three. Three ages. Next three. Gotcha. No. Prayer, let's hold on to God's word and pray. Just like Benjamin or Pablo. Experience working of the Holy Spirit. Oh, look at those sweethearts. I don't recognize one of them. She hasn't come back from Korea. Because brother had the cavities. <laughs> it's going to fall out anyways. Just stay here. Let it fall out. Uniqueness. Every step he takes, earthquake. 
Jesus Messiah, just like we'll be saying today. Today's message is, why must you receive salvation? Yeah, salvation from original sin. Why must you be saved? Por qué? Write this down. You want to go sit next to your teacher? No? Why? Does she smell? He said yes. Punish him later. I'm just kidding. He said no. Can I move on? Can I move on, Sparkle Sparkle? Yes. What? <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> Creepy Aiden. Moving on in five, one, four, two, three. I already said one. Romance. Romance. Ooh la la. One, 16 and 17. Romance. 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 One, 16 and 17. For those of you who do not have a Bible, there it is. Three, two, one. It says, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes, first for the Jew, then for the Gentile. For in the gospel, righteousness from God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith from first to last, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. And who gives us this faith to believe that Jesus is the Christ? God himself. So if you can't believe in God or you're like spiritual things, I don't believe it. I can't see it. I can't touch it. Then I'm not going to believe it. Then you better keep praying. God, give me mercy and grace. Give me faith. Because if you can't see it, then it's hard to believe, right? Then again, can you see oxygen? To have spiritual rhythm of summit prayer, our theme for this month. Month. If, I wonder if you don't have two front teeth, you can't pronounce your THs. Th. This month. Month. Whoa, challenge accepted. Oh, he dodged it. Supper. It's supper time. Super time. Can I move on? No. Ah. Kidding me? Yeah, exactly. You smelt it, you dealt it. It was the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Michael and Bajki played basketball on Friday. Woof! That was so embarrassing. Two for 37, Michael. <laughs> Benji shoots better than that. Okay, move on. No. Moving on. Don't complain. Last week, we talked about regarding the book of Romans. Who wrote the book of Romans? Paul. Paulito. Paul, the guy who always misses Friday worship. Seriously, why do you always miss Friday remnant worship? You too cool? I thought you're elder son, man. Be a good role model. I'm too busy. No, you're not. Are you busy? What do you do during that time from 6.30 at 6.30? Better have a good excuse. You eat? Are you still online? It's not funny. Unbelievable. Even Pablo did, all the way from Mexico. Well, actually, he signed on and then he left right away on Wednesday. Little rascal. Went to go eat. 
We're just going to go eat tacos. Ne carne asada. The summit prayer in the unknown world. Summit time. What, when do we learn about summit time? VBS 2020, when COVID first started. Remember that? But then again, it existed long before that. Schedule prayer. Right? When did schedule prayer start? Even longer ago, even before Jesus' birth. Daniel did schedule prayer, summit prayer. Jesus himself did summit prayer, right? Morning, day, and night. Let's find ourselves in God, not find ourselves in sports or books or movies, Barbie movie. Cross, man. Or transcendental meditation. People do this in school too. Remember, even in my school, we do something called Calm Classroom, and they, they play a, a video, and it's like grasshoppers, and all of a sudden, there's like sheep, and then a gong. Focus on the gong. People, people have like these bowls and they, they, they do like some sound in the bowl. Yeah, that's all transcendental meditation. She does bong to, did she give you bong? They focus on breathing, right? Well, now they're catching up to it. I remember when I was in senior year in high school, I had to write an essay and I'm like, hey, Hey, Mr. Mr. Belwar, can I write a paper about deep breathing? And he's like, what the heck is this? No, do something else. No, I'll, I'll find books and I'll do research. No, I'll do something else. And then only like 10, 20 years later, now America's catching on to breathing, which is why we do deep breathing. One woman always asks, why do we always do deep breathing before worship? Yeah, it's the person who just went, <laughs> Muslims, they pray five times a day, and that's just, that's just the kids. Adults, they probably do more. They bow and smell each other's feet. Ugh, gross. They, can, they even cover their heads during, that's why they wear a hat, Muslim people. Or Jewish people, they also wear a hat. Yeah, and then Muslim women, they wear like, they cover their entire face, only their eyes. A hijab. Hijab, good job. Pilgrims back then in the Middle Ages, they focused on breathing. They did their little pilgrimages to the monasteries. I want to go to a monastery. Field trip? Yeah. Let's go to, let's go to a monastery in Ireland. That sounds fun. Yeah. You pay for it. Early Christians, holy meditation. Let's focus on God's word, right? God's word, Bible reading, Bible reading, Bible writing, listening to God's word. Let's focus on the spiritual facts. All right, through our summit prayer, we can know things that even adults don't even know, right? Paul looked to the ends of the earth, Rome, Spain. He looked at the age of destruction. Things of the world can't save us. Don't be swept away by the world. Often we have to keep up our spiritual rhythm, right? Like, you know, athletes, they have rhythm. When they shoot, they have a rhythm. Who wrote the book of Romans? Paul. In Rome, for the Romans. Rome. Rome. Paul, always, he just wanted to go to Rome. That was his mission, because that's his end of the earth. Because that was a superpower nation back then. What's a superpower nation today? China. Uh, it's starting to become like China, America. America, Korea, even though it's like this small. And it's divided in half. And the people up north, they're like cuckoo, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. The, the Kim Dynasty. Finally, see his eyeballs, his spiritual eyes. <laughs> we did that. We did this extra credit activity, and then me and my teacher we posted our faces on Google Slides, and then we let the kids decorate and decorate our faces, and then they kept 
they gave me middle, like a middle eye, third eye. And there was like four students who did that. Oh, rascals. And then there was other ones that were, give me a hat, unibrow. Mustache. Mustache, yeah. Bald. No. Mystery hidden from long ages past. Jesus is the Christ. That's a universal truth. But what does it have to do with you? Make this my truth. When was it written? A.D. 57. Yeah. A.D. stands for Amino Domini, or after Jesus' death. That's Latin. B.C. stands for? Bacon and cheddar. No, before Christ. Right before the siege of Jerusalem in 70 A.D. Yeah. And then nine years later, Mount of Vesuvius, or Pompeii, it erupted. And then persecution of Jewish, I mean, Christians. Things got bad. And then Emperor Constantine, 313 AD, declared Christianity as a main religion. But then they lost hold of the gospel again. Where was it written? Corinth. Who else was in Corinth? PNA. Priscilla and Aquila. Aquila and Priscilla. We have somebody named Priscilla in our church. I don't know where she is these days, but I think we have Aquila too. No, actually we don't. Aquila Lee. Every Sabbath went to the, went to the, the synagogues. He wrote the book of 1 Corinthians. What comes after 1 Corinthians? 2 Corinthians. What comes after 2 Corinthians? No, there is no third Corinthians. Content of Romans. What is the book of Romans all about? Only Christ. Justification, sanctification, by grace we're saved. Somebody has grace as a middle name. What a beautiful middle name. But then some people have weird middle names. Like Ugg. Talks about the history of Israel, the life of the believers. Let's live a life of prayer, a life of worship. It's just like those fellas. Precious, so precious. That's going to be in a textbook one day, this picture. Right? You never know. What if this is the only picture that remains after like a nuclear bomb goes off? And then the future generations, they start a new civilization, and then they study they have their own textbooks. And this picture is it. Oh, no. Like, this is the only remaining artifact from the 21st century. Because, who knows? Like, we have, like, texts and pictures from back then. Like, in Egyptian times, they have, like, the hieroglyph hieroglyphics. Right? What if this is the only thing that remains? They're gonna they're gonna study one person's skull. The brown bear. <laughs> the core Bible verses in Romans three twenty three. One one remnant even wrote this on our in our classroom, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And then I erased it. And all are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that's in Christ. There's no one righteous, not even one. Jewish, Gentiles, Greeks, nobody. Korean, North Korean, East Korean, West Korean, none. Romans 8, 2, confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, you will be saved. All things work together for the good. God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Some of prayer, spiritual rhythm. Let's find ourselves in God. He's going to go find himself in God. Agent 237. Leaving for duty. Bathroom duty. Muslims, they pray five times a day. They advertise it. They even have their own YouTube channel. Hey, welcome to Allah Radfala.
today's today we're going to talk about kids pray five times a day. Like and subscribe. Ding. The pilgrims. We talked about that. <laughs> oh, okay, so what is the unknown world? Well, there's three kings and we should know. There's kingdom of Satan or Satan's dominion. Satan, who, was an, who actually was an angel, his name is Lucifer. Let's we'll call him Lucy for short. Well, Lucy tried to rebel against God, and then the ancient serpent or the great dragon, as the Bible calls it, was hurled out onto the kingdom of earth. God even created hell so that when Jesus' return, or the Lord of Advent, Jesus' second coming, Jesus, Satan and his followers will be locked in hell forever. <sighs> Satan. And while he's on earth, he's, he's, every, every civilization he's trying to attack with the 12 strategies. He uses the same techniques over and over and over. Stupid Lucy. And his, his followers, which are, it says in the book of Revelations, the ancient serpent or the, the great dragon swung his tail and took a third of the stars, a.k.a. a third of the angels in heaven. And then there was a great battle in heaven against, with Michael, the, the, the angel. A wonderful name. And Michael and his angels defeated the ser this devil and it was cast out. And then it says how, how horrible, rich, wretched it is for those who live on earth because Satan is there. Right? So we have to keep fighting. There is Satan in his kingdom. Right? Satan has his generals and his officers and his little soldiers, which are evil spirits and demons. Unseen to our eyes, they do exist. Right? They influence our thoughts. <sighs> Pastor Yu keeps talking about how there's zombies in America. <laughs> well, yeah. Have you, ever, have you ever been to Los Angeles? There's, there's a place called Skid Row, which is like part of the city and it's all it's, it really looks like zombies because people they do drugs they're homeless there used to be people just like us well maybe not like us but then they went homeless fell into drugs and things they shouldn't be doing and then and they're like that even in Chicago I was at the park yesterday and then there was this man just sitting on the bench I think it was like sunburn. It was, it's like he looks homeless, but it was like zombie. There's a lot. Uh, there's a lot. A lot of problems in America, and even Europe that we should. The president doesn't know how to solve it. Right? It's a big issue. We they elect, they elected a new mayor in Chicago. Let's see how he does it. But they don't. They wouldn't know because it's a spiritual problem. And then there's kingdom of this world, right? Say, what does the kingdom of the world do? They run errands for Satan. Hmm. And then there's also kingdom of God, right? This is our background. We have to save the kingdom of this world. Why? Because it's understanding Satan's errands. Let's enjoy the mystery of the throne of heaven. And where does it talk about Satan in the in, Where does it talk about Satan? Only in the Bible, right? Study God's word. Teacher I can't I can't visualize what heaven is like. Read Book of Revelations. All right, Paul's greetings. What's up? Paul has his greeting. Like you have a greeting, right? When you text somebody or message, what's your greeting? Sup. Hi. Mine is a, the smiley face with sunglasses and a thumbs up. What's yours? When you, say, when you greet somebody for the first time. People, some people, they do this. They do, what is this, dap? They do this, they do this. There was a little fifth grader and she's like, yo, Mr. Lee, dap me up. No, I do this. And there's an eighth grader. Hey, hey, coach, what's up? No, I do this. And he, we always shake hands. Well, what's your greeting? How do you greet people? Whenever Paul wrote a letter, he, he always says, 
talks about himself. Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God. He's really stating who he is, right? Because when you greet somebody, or writing like an email or essay or whatever, you know, talk about who, like, who is this? Who am I? It's, it's me, Paul. And we're servants of Christ Jesus too. God set us apart. That's our identity. Do you know who you are? No, I don't know who I am. Ah! We do know who we are, hopefully. Right? If we know that Jesus is Christ, accept the Holy Spirit, we become children of God. That's who you are. I had to write an essay in, what is it, in, in high school or in college explaining. When, when you go into college, you have to write an essay explaining who you are and what your dream or vision is. What, uh, just talk about identity. People still don't know who they are. Do you know who you are? Holy, that means set apart. Chosen instrument for the Gentiles. 227. The gospel he promised beforehand through his prophets. Who are the prophets in the Bible? There are many, right? Elijah, Elisha, Isaiah. So many prophets in the Bible, and they're all giving us a heads up. And through the spirit of holiness was declared with the power to be the son of God by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord. Why did Jesus have to die on a cross? Because that's the only way to solve original sin. What's original sin? We'll talk more about it later. Why did he have to resurrect? That's the only way to destroy Satan's authority and the law of sin and death. To all in Rome who are loved by God and called to be his holy people. Isn't that our church's name? What's our church's name? Holy Nation Presbyterian Church. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Doesn't this remind you of something? Grace and peace to you. Grace and peace. Yeah. No. The Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you, may turn his face towards you and give you peace. No, oh, man, it's not John 14, 6. That was two years ago. Number 6, 22 to 29. Should we listen to the song? Somebody wrote a song. Number 6, 22 to 29. Bond. Bond, shiggy bond. Dun, 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 dun. Bathroom duty. Paul, he, he missed the, the believers in Rome, in, in Rome. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith is being proclaimed all over the world. People from like halfway around the world know about you guys. How? Probably through word of mouth and through our pastors. Or through YouTube or videos. Oh, snap. Snap, crackle, pop. Without ceasing, I, I mention you always in my prayers. When we pray, does somebody pop up in your mind? That's who you should pray for, right? Sometimes when we're, when we're by ourselves, someone pops into our mind, right? And it makes us furious. <laughs> That's God telling us to pray for them. And then while we're praying, some, someone pops in, into your mind, bling, and it makes you so happy. Ah, good times. Right? I, was, I was praying, and all of a sudden, this was Friday, I'm praying, and I, it pops up into my mind. Bling. There's this one remnant, literally during forum. He farts so loud, and he's like, oh, he, he blamed it on somebody else. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. But uh, I'm like, okay, God, I'll pray for this person. <laughs> They're doing it again. It's like the Spider-Man meme. They're always pointing at each other. In my prayers at all times, asking that now at last, by God's will, I may succeed in coming to you. Paul really missed the Romans. Who do you miss? There's someone, someone I miss so much while he was like in Mexico this week. He's still not back, but at least we have a new student. I even messaged in our, in our HMPC chat, where, where could he be? And he doesn't even respond. <laughs> I guess there's no reception in Mexico. I long to see you so that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to make you strong. 
that you're encouraged by each other right, through faith. Right? Let's encourage each other, not bring us bring each other down. Like there's this remnant who farted and he's, he blamed and discouraged another remnant. Let's encourage it. Oh, they're doing it again. I don't want you to be unaware, bros, how I often plan to come to you, but was prevented. Right? This is Paul just saying, uh, I'm, I'm busy with my ministry. I, I really miss you guys. I'm obligated both to Greeks and non-Greeks, both to the wise and to the foolish. Because everybody, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. doesn't matter how smart you are, how rich you are, how poor you are, how dumb you are. Everybody's separated from God. Everybody needs the gospel. That's why I'm so eager to preach the gospel also to you who are in Rome. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel. What are you ashamed of? Probably like something embarrassing that you did, right? There was this one remnant who farted during form time. It was so gross. And he, he felt ashamed, so he blamed somebody else. But what are you ashamed of? Actually, I got, maybe he's not ashamed because he just let it out. <laughs> And blamed it on his shoe. For it's the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. First for the Jew, then for the Gentiles. By faith. The righteous will live by faith. Jesus also said, if you pray in faith and say, mountains, go jump into the sea, then it will be done. No, that's the amount of faith we need to have, right? Why do you even need to know the gospel? What's the point? Why do you need to know the gospel? Porque. Everybody done writing this down? Why? Why? I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it's the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes. Why do we need to know the gospel? Because everybody needs salvation. Jews and Gentiles. Here it says Greek but it's just referring to the Gentiles, right? We're Gentiles too. Anybody who's not Jewish, of Jewish blood. Blood. For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed, the righteousness that is by faith from first to last. Just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. We live by faith, not by actions. Actions follow our faith. Let's see. Why do we need to know the gospel? Well, let's see how they explain do you have true peace and happiness? It says, there are many times when we fall into problems that don't seem to go away. Family problems, work problems, children problems, worries about uncertain future, spiritual and physical problems, constantly before us. So people fall into drugs, alcohol, and even into wild living. Others put their trust in religions, which do not have the answers, superstition, sorcery, fortune telling, money and power. Why do these problems come? Look at that, oh my God, family problems. Depression, mental problems, spiritual problems, physical problems. Why? Did I tell you about that, that rich, rich lady who, when she was a kid, she had trauma because her parents were fighting, and then she, at that moment she saw an evil spirit, like a ghost. And then she grew up older, and she got rich and super successful and started her own family. But then at night, when she was depressed, that same evil spirit showed up. That came up when she was a kid. Spiritual problem, it just doesn't go away. So, did you ever experience trauma, like traumatic events, maybe when you were little? Okay, well, that past, don't, let it, don't hold on to it as a scar. Through Jesus Christ, you need to receive healing from that. Use it as your platform, right? What? That was my friend, my Filipino friend. <laughs> Taiwanese lady. Physical problem, Phys Filipino. People live loose living, they try to follow a religion. But there's no answer in religion. They even, make, they even make fun of it. They make fun of churches these days. They make fun of Christianity. They even make a... I know, right? But then they even made a new movie. It's like a horror movie. It's like Exorcist, Pope, Pope's Exorcist. And it shows like them it's basically making fun of Catholic Church too. Why is it always a church they 
to make fun of. Why? Because they're Satan's kingdom. Original man. Of all creation, only mankind was created in the image of God, which means we have a spirit, soul. Just as fish were made to live in the water, birds in the sky, trees in the, in the ground, people are made to be happy with God because we're spiritual beings. We have a spirit. We have a soul. It's different from animals. Animals have emotions. Did you know animals, animals could sense your emotions, sense your fear? They could even sense your, your happiness. Cats don't care. Darn cats. Cats do their own thing. Felines. Actually, no, they do. Right? But that's just emotion. That's just emotion. Animals have that sense, emotion. But they don't have spirit. Mankind's sin, fundamental problem. People are separated from God, right? Said, so eat this fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. You will, sure, you, you will surely die. But they're like, Satan deceived them. Fall of mankind. That's when destruction came to our life, separation from God. That's when all mankind born after, after Adam and Eve, they're born with original sin. They're born as children of Satan. Idolatry, spiritual problems, mental problems, physical problems, death, judgment of hell, spiritual inheritance. No matter what non-believers do, they're just running around in Satan's hand. Right? Satan, they can't leave. The ruler of the kingdom of air, which is Satan. Mental problems. Under God's wrath. Mental problems, demon possessions, inheritance, hell, a life like hell, face judgment. Are we going to face judgment when we die? When we're standing in line to enter heaven, do we need to show a ticket? No, it's already guaranteed. We have the ticket inside of our heart, and that's the Holy Spirit. Pass, pass. Hold it right there. And then there's judgment for non-believers. The only solution, Jesus Christ, right? Because he came as a true prophet. The lamb. Even in book of Revelations, all the creatures and angels in heaven, do you know what they bow down to? A little lamb. A lamb. Like even if you book, read book of Revelation, there's like, Lions with wings and like there's like human face and like an ox's butt or whatever. And there's like seraphs and angels and even Michael, the arch, arch, archangel, and, and the, the elders and all the Gentile believers. And who do they bow down to? A lamb. A lamb. Why lamb? Because that's representing Christ who shed his blood, solved the original sin. Why did he have to shed his blood on the cross? Easter is all about like, even there's churches and even bumper stickers, they have crosses. Why cross? Why blood? Because what's inside of blood? Life, Life right? And if you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the way to meet God, set us free from the law of sin and death, destroy the devil's work, believe it, confess with your mouth, and you'll be saved. God knocks on the door of our heart and receive the Holy Spirit have the right to become children of God. That's, God demonstrated his own, own love for us in this. What other greater love is there than to give up your life for somebody? Would you be able to do that? I'm, I'm walking down the street and there's a semi-truck. No, no, there's a Tesla truck, Tesla cyber truck coming. <laughs> Who, who could jump in front of it and save my life? Maybe Mino. Probably not, right? Bye, TV Jinster. See you in heaven. It's hard, right? Maybe parents for their kids. But God demonstrates his own love for all mankind. He himself came and shed his blood. Show the devil's work. We have to accept him as the Lord and master of our life. Let him sit in the chair of your heart. Just like God opened Lydia's heart. Not that one. The one in the Bible. 
Calm down, Mr. Tootsie. Farty McFarty pants. You probably have like a hole in your pants from all that farting. Wow. What happens when you accept Jesus Christ in your heart? You become a child of God. God answers our prayers. God answers our prayers like in five different ways. He says, okay, there you go. He says, no. He says, nope, wait, I'll give you something better. And then I forgot the other two. He gives you something better in the future. Or he says, wait, I'll give you something better. I just said that. Destroy forces of darkness. Why don't we pray in the name of Jesus Christ? Forces of darkness, run away. God mobilizes his angels, protects us, even if we don't ask for it, because we're his children. He sends his bodyguards. There was this old man walking up a mountain, and then there were these robbers. So he's going to his home, like somewhere on the mountains. He's going up, going up, and there's robbers. The robbers, they steal his stuff. Because he went down to the village to get like some money, some cash, and then he went back up. And then the robbers got him, got the money, and ran away. And the old man's like, oh, God, that was for church offering. And then middle of the night, ding dong. Doom, 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 doom. The robber came and knelt down and gave the, gave the money. Please, please, I didn't mean it. And then the man, I didn't know you had such, those bodyguards. And the old man's like, what? And then the robber explains, there was these huge bodyguards who came running after me. Didn't you send them? And the old man's like, no. But it was angels. <laughs> that, was, that was one of his testimony. Interesting. The citizenship of heaven, that's our citizenship. World evangelization, that's our mission. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. Sometimes you feel embarrassed that you go to church and that you're a Christian and it's kind of hard to talk about Jesus in public. Sometimes you might feel like that. But at those times, no, don't be ashamed of the gospel. Maybe it's not an answer for you. Maybe that's why you get embarrassed about it. But if it's really your answer, then you'll be bold. You're set free. You could do whatever you want. Oh, does that mean I could literally do whatever I want? Yes. You could do whatever you want. Yeah, do whatever you want. You're set free. You're a child of God. But that's spiritually. Spiritually, we're set free from original sin. But if you really receive the Holy Spirit, you want to do that stuff, right? You will live a sanctified life. Spiritually, yeah, you are set free. You could do whatever you want. Should you do it? That's what we need to ask. There was, this, there was this pastor in America not too long ago, and he gave a message. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? Think about it. Say it. Ask yourself, what would Jesus do? And then the people in the church, they kept questioning it themselves. There was this, someone stole something from somebody, and, he, and they're like, what would Jesus do? And he forgave them. There's many incidents. What would Jesus do? WWJD, WWJD. And it became a huge movement in America. And they even wrote a book about it. It's called In His Steps. Yeah. Keep asking, what would Jesus do? What is the state of those who are not saved? Well, let's think about it. It says there's no one righteous, not even one. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Everybody is born with original sin because Adam is our, is our forefather, our ancestor. Was Jesus born with original sin? No, because it was through the virgin birth, Virgin Mary. Because they're not redeemed through Christ. Look at this. In the beginning. Who created the heavens and the earth? God did. 
I went to the planetarium on a field trip like last week, last, last week, the Adler Planetarium. Yeah, and it shows galaxy, universe, all that stuff. And who created all that? God. Isn't that amazing? By his word. He said, let there be light. Bing, sun. Let there be night light. Bing, moon. Let there be land. Let there be water. Let there be animals. Let there be dinosaur. Meow. Let there be light. Boom, sun. Amazing. Let there be night and day. Okay. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Earth rotates, solar system rotates, everything. So there could be day and night. Isn't that amazing? God, God moves the entire solar system so we could have day and night. Uh, probably for like some magnetic force to keep everything stable. Everything has a purpose. Let there be wind, waves, moon, bing, waves, somehow, magnetic. Clouds, wind, from the four corners of the earth. And then people are like, four corners of the earth? Does that mean the earth is flat? And then Mr. Copernicus is like, no, earth is Round. And he, he told the church, the Catholic church, Earth is round. And then they burned Copernicus. Oh. Yeah. And a couple hundred years later, oh, Earth really is round. And then the Catholic church, they made an announcement. We're sorry to Copernicus, even though they burned him. We admit our fault that Earth is round. <laughs> the Catholic church, they did that. <laughs> Poor Copernicus. <laughs> he got burned for telling the truth. Yeah. I don't know. He's like a. You'll learn about him. He's like a philosopher, scientist. Yeah, scientist. I think. I think. All right. Maybe we'll do him for talent time. Land. Bing. Plants. For oxygen. Yeah, we need plants for oxygen, right? Stars. Animals in the sea. Honk, honk. Why do we need bees? For pollen and for honey. Hornets? I'm sure there's a purpose. Animals, right? So beautiful. Yeah, look at that pink horse. Oh, it's a flamingo. God said, don't, you could rule over everything. Just don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. To mankind, he gave us a soul. His image. Don't eat from that. No, no, no. It's like when you tell a dog, no, no. You put a treat on its nose, and you're like, no, wait, wait. But what does the dog do? <laughs> right away. It runs away. <sighs> Satan. Using the serpent. Maybe Eve liked the serpent. I don't know. Ate it. And then Eve gave it, gave it to Adam. Mankind separated from that point. Separation, the curse of sin under Satan's rule. It's called original sin. There's only one way. Christ, the Messiah. And ever from that moment on, death entered into our world. Animals started killing each other. Plants started killing each other. People started killing each other. Ugh. Nephilim on the earth. But he didn't stir. What did the lions eat before then? I don't know. They're probably vegetarian. But after original sin, they start killing each other. Animal kingdom is oof, dark. Physical flesh, corruption, wicked. And what was the answer to escape age of Nephilim? The ark, which is Christ. Enter into Christ and you'll live. Tower of Babel, making a name for themselves. God's like, go spread out, conquer the earth. No, we want to gather together and build a, a tower. And we're going to be God. <laughs> and God's like, ah, all right, go angels. Uh, go confuse their languages so they don't communicate. <laughs> and then they can't build it anymore. And the angels went, woohoo, Korean, woohoo, Spanish, woohoo, Russian, woohoo, Ukrainian. Woohoo! 
Mm. Chinese? Arabic. Arabic? Yeah. God confused our languages. Lydia. Lydianese. I don't know what kind of language that is. And then that's why we have so many languages in our world today. Success is living, success living without God. That's not success. That's torture. So God called Abraham. Get out. Get out. Father Abraham. We'll learn about Father Abraham next week. And then slavery came upon, slavery came upon mankind. Most, oh, have you ever been to the Field Museum? Yeah. And then have you ever been to the Egyptian section? The Egypt section where you go inside the tomb and there's, there's mummies. And then there's like this huge block. And there's like a rope attached to it. Huge like cinder. And you have to try to pull it. Israelites did that. The Jewish people did that. Right? I, can't even, I couldn't even pull it. Maybe because they glued it or something. Why, why did animals look so real? Back then? Because no. those were actual animals. Oh, because those were real animals. It's just it's called taxidermy. They, they took out all the inside and they stuffed it with like cotton. So the outside is, that was an actual animal. And the, the eyes, that's just, they, it's a fake eye. That's why there's no life in those eyes. Yeah, booga booga. The only way to escape Egypt was blood of the lamb. The lamb. Wow, lamb has like so special meaning. delicious red sea and then uh, captivity the answer was the virgin birth Emmanuel God with us colonization you know the Israelites the Jewish people they were colonized but then they're while they were colonized they're like oh I'm richer than you oh, oh, oh. I'm better than you oh, oh, oh. amongst themselves I'm a Pharisee oh, oh, oh. even though they're all colonized it's like you're you're on a pirate ship and clean the best and they're like wow you're the best pirate but then what's his identity still a pirate still bad doesn't matter how good pirate you are you're still a pirate they were still colonized people separated from God children of Satan spiritual problems problems you can't really understand mental problems spiritual problem is not being able to succeed in worship mental problems and What's really severe mental problem? Being self-centered, very self-centered. That's mental problem. You need an example? Karens? These days, they're like, there's like Karens, right? Karens. Those are mental problems. That's mental patients. Health problems, physical problems, family problems, spiritual problem. You know how sometimes we have newcomers and the babies? And then the babies come and they just start crying like crazy. Because those are, those are newcomers, like babies, spiritually sensitive. So they, they, they're like that. But after they accept Christ and help the parents accept Christ, the baby doesn't cry anymore. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. I, I think maybe there were some new babies today. They were crying. Oh. How is that? Ding, ding. A cough sound. <laughs> Only Jesus is the way to solve it, right? Only Jesus. That's the gospel. Good news. Christ. What does Christ mean? The anointed one. Prophets, priests, and kings were anointed. And Jesus came as a true prophet. John 14, 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. True priest. Romans 8, 2. Law of the Spirit of life set us free from the law of sin and death. 1 John 3, 8. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. So, accept this Christ. Believe in your heart, confess in your mouth, and you'll be saved. 3, 2, 1. Dear God, thank you for your wonderful love and plan of salvation. I open my heart and accept you as my Lord. Master and Savior, come into my heart and lead me from now on. In Christ Jesus' name I pray, amen. And what happens? You become child of God. How do you become child of God? You have to receive the Holy Spirit. 
did you receive the Holy Spirit? That's what Paul asked, his, asked the, apost- the disciples in Ephesus, right? And then you'll receive guidance of the Holy Spirit. How do we receive guidance of the Holy Spirit? Through God's word. Why do we worship? So we can receive guidance of the Holy Spirit. We experience working of the Holy Spirit. God answers our prayers. We, we need to constantly be filled with the Holy Spirit, right? Spiritual rhythm, summit prayer. Because if we're not filled by the Holy Spirit, we'll be swept away by the world, right? And it's hard to get them back. It's hard to come back. Have you ever tried like walking in like a, a tide, like a stream, a current of water, and you're trying to walk against it? It's hard. Oh. Have you ever swam in like the ocean or like the lake and the waves? It's just keep pushing you back. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. Don't be swept away by the world. God answers our prayers, break down all forces of darkness, mobilize this is angels. We're citizens of heaven. World evangelization, that's our mission. It says in Ephesians 2, it is by the, for it is by grace you've been saved, through faith. And this is not from yourself. We can't work hard to become child of God. It is a gift of God. Oh, well, teacher Jinster, I do prayer journal every single day. Does that mean I'm a child of God? No. Well, I do Bible reading every single day and Bible writing every single day. Are you, am I, does that mean I'm a child of God? No. There's this one person. He wrote the Bible. Like he wrote the entire Bible and he gifted it to another person when the, his son got married. Does that mean I'm a child of God? No. no this is, well, it's a gift of God. It's by faith. Not by works, so that no one can boast. He boasted during the wedding ceremony. He made an announcement. Can I have everyone's attention, please? Here, I wrote this entire Bible, and I want to gift it to my son. This is your wedding present. I know, right? I think it's one of your dad's. One of your dad's who received the gift. God called us out. I think it was Chloe's. You weren't even born, so you wouldn't know. Ecclesia. You know what church means? Ecclesia. That means called out. God called us out of, of darkness. God called us out. Today is Easter. Because it's, East, because it's Easter, what do we need to, to think about? We need to be imprinted with the gospel, not chocolate eggs. We will, th- we will throw chocolate eggs at you. Summit prayer, right? Easter, let's focus on Jesus. Summit prayer, let's have a spiritual rhythm. Think about Easter. What's Easter? But what does that have to do with you? Think about Jesus' death on the cross, Jesus Christ, his death on the cross, and which is good. Pray in the Spirit at all times and every occasion. Be alert. Be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. Let's constantly pray throughout this entire day. Devote ourselves in prayer, being watchful and thankful. Let's be thankful this entire day, thinking about Jesus. Just think about Jesus. Always pray continuously, pray con- continually, pray constantly, 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 Constantine. All right, homework. Homework this week is no. It's think about Jesus, right? Think about Jesus' birth, his ministry, his suffering, his crucifixion, which is death on the cross, his resurrection, his second coming. Homework this week, just think about Jesus. Just think about Jesus. People who did it. There's there's Michael's homework. No, that's not your hands. Minos? That's Minos? No. 
there's got to be Mino's hints. Who is this? Sharp fingernails. First of all, OK, so this person did it. These remnants did it. I'm not sure what the red one is. Oh, they cop they photoshopped their face onto your body. <laughs> Let's pray for Russia and Lithuania. Russia, Orthodox Christians, other religions on the rise, Catholic. Let's pray for these two nations. Three, two, one. Dear God, may you bless Russia and Lithuania so that the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise, shine the light of the gospel, and establish your kingdom there. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.